Welcome to my weekly roundup of what I've been up to in Hackney and Westminster. I was really pleased this week to see a small change, but an important one, to the EU retained law bill. This bill had included what's called a sunset clause, which said that if by the end of this year, uh, government departments and government had not decided to keep certain old EU laws, they would have automatically fallen away. This would have meant that thousands of laws would not have been scrutinised before being completely dropped, removing important protections in the workplace and in the environment, among others. The withdrawal of this sunset clause means that there's still a risk that the government will scrap some important laws, but we can look at those in more time. So it's a small step in the right direction, but there are still risks ahead. The Public Accounts Committee this week's been busy, including looking at local authority administered business schemes uh, during the early days of COVID when the government gave councils money to support local small businesses. There's been a high level of fraud and error and the worry is that this money will never come back to the Exchequer. So do look out for our report on that in due course. And I was pleased to speak in a debate about the difficult issue of no recourse to public funds. This is a condition attached to a number of settlement visas which whereby people are allowed to work and live in the UK, but they have no access to any uh, taxpayer funded benefits. That may sound reasonable on one, on one hand, but in places like Hackney where rents are so high, that means no access to housing benefits, which are there designed to support people in the private rented market, uh, among others. And it, it's a real concern for so many people in Hackney. I know people in good jobs, working hard, who are in real difficult circumstances because of this. So I made those points in the debate.